Hello, good afternoon or good morning, depending on which coast you're on. It's Jess here, and I'm so excited to um, be here for our Wednesday coffee and a card. Awesome. Okay, so here's a look at the kit. I just want to make sure I'm caught up on all the comments, um, and I'm going to just show you the components. So for me, I'm kind of sent, um, you know, samples to work with to create um, to create um, content and to prepare for our live here. So your kit will come with an instruction sheet. It will come with 12 um, six by six pieces of paper. So I'm just kind of showing you some components so you can see everything. So first up, you'd get uh, Studio Katya Pastel Rainbow Confetti, love. And then you get a really fun um, birdhouse die with um, some willow dies too, which is super cool. And it actually is perfectly sized for the star of the show, the photo play a little bird told me, a little birdie told me stamp set. So I love um, that you get some greenery and you get so many little cute birdies and then you get lots of uh, sentiment. So you have like, you know, I'd go out on a limb for you, which we're gonna use that sentiment today. Congrats on your new nest, so ha like new home, um, and then birthday, and then just you're so sweet. So you have, you know, birthday covered, you have new home covered, you have, um, you know, just because covered, and you have, you know, just a thinking of you um, encouragement card, so it's awesome. And then you think that this was a lot, and you also <laughs> get a photo play um, grass edger stencil. So this stencil is perfect for A2 size cards as well as um, slimline cards. So I think that's fun. And we're going to go into the paper. So let me pull up the exact names because they have fun names. So <laughs> this is the Lawn Fawn Spiffy Speckles paper, which I thought was perfect for our theme. So you get um, two of each color. So don't mind this side, this is our project for later. So you get this side and then you would get this side. So you can, and then you get two sheets so you can not have to pick. You can use one on one and one on the other. So this one is blueberry smoothie and then you get strawberry um, frosty. I just happen to use most of it for my samples. So that's kind of what it looks like there. And then that's what the little birdhouse looks like too. So fun, 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 fun. Um, and then we have ripe banana which is this one here, and then Robin's egg, which is this one here, and then you also get sea foam, which I have kind of hidden away because it's for our project. So that's just what the color looks like there. So that's the fun papers you get to create with, and we're also throwing in um, some photo play maker series card bases, which I, um, I can't believe I haven't tried them before we started adding them to our kits. They are so much fun and they're easy to grab when, you know, you're kind of in the mood to create a card and you weren't really, you know, thinking of pulling out your interactive dies. They kind of, I have them on hand with my regular A2 size card bases. And then if I feel like it, oh, it's, it's all ready to go and perfect. So we're going to create uh, one card using this, um, sorry, these bases. And again, just like last time which I love about the packaging is that inside you have really awesome instructions. So you can always look back and check it out. And then you can kind of pop this in like, um, you know, if you store all your bases in like a storage sleeve, you can put it in there and you always have them. So that's fun. So this is our fun kit and I'm going to grab a link and pop it in here and all that for $48, which is pretty awesome. So, you can craft forever. Like there's three card bases you get in this package um, and then 12 sheets of six by six paper. And then once you're done with that, you can use your stencil, your stamp set and your die set and your sequins will probably last a long time too. You can continue to use that on and on and on. So I think it's an awesome value um, and so fun. And I love the colors. So pastel -y and awesome. Um, so let me grab the link and then I'm going to put it here if you're interested. There. So now we can kind of get into our cards for today. So those are two fun announcements, a Lawn Fawn flash sale. Um, and then so the promo code again for the Lawn Fawn flash sale is Lawn Fawn 20. So save 20% off. Um, we're just clearing, making up space for the new release, which I'm so excited about. And then our brand new for the birds card kit that is has just hit the shop today. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, and now we're gonna create some cards. 
So let's kind of get resituated here. So I'm gonna need these two. We're gonna start by actually creating our wiper card. I'm like, where do I put this so it doesn't fall <laughs> on me later? <laughs> okay, so what you would do is you would, um, the card base you would need um, the larger card front here and then um, the smaller one here. And then you need one of these, which you're gonna cut out after. That's kind of our mechanism that will bring the wiper up. So you just need those three. I'm gonna put these ones aside. And then I'm gonna pull up Facebook on my iPad. One moment. Do, do, do. So what do you guys think of the new kit? What do you think of Lawn Fawn coming up? Tell me, tell me. Okay, perfect, so that's up there. My computer doesn't wanna work, fine. Perfect, okay. Um, so we're gonna start with this. So I'm gonna start by um, just folding all the lines that need to be folded. Keep the instructions close by because we might need to refer back to them. So I start by taking the card base um, and then folding it on the score lines. Ooh, actually now would be a good time to see if I have my bone folder handy. Oh, I do, perfect. Yay! <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of reinforce it a little bit and I'm just folding inwards onto the lines. So it's gonna be like this for this one. And then this one, I'm just gonna again fold on the lines. That. And then that's gonna kind of go like this here. So you can kind of see how it forms. It's actually, I thought it was really complicated, but it's actually a lot easier once, once your brain kind of um, make sense of it. At first I was like, this looks really complicated. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But so that's the general mechanism. So it will fold down um, into an A2 size envelope. So you don't have to worry about that, it's like that. And then, so you start by, but before we kind of glue everything together, I wanted to decorate it with some um, pattern paper. So I already went ahead and um, basically created the lines and I'm just going to um, trim it down. I think I'm just gonna use the paper trimmer here. If you guys watch my lives, you know that not I don't love math and paper crafting. So I kind of just, for me what works is I just traced what I needed. And so we're gonna do the bottom is gonna be green for kind of the grass. And then the top is going to just be uh, blue. So actually this kind of worked out. So that works there, it's green, awesome. And then we're just gonna trim this one down here. Has anybody um, tried making wiper cards before? This is the first time I've experimented with it. And it's so much fun. So that's gonna kind of go just like that. And then I'll do the same thing with the blue. And you can see I actually also traced our little wiper mechanism, but um, I figured out a different way um, where we can use the one that comes in the kit, but it's still gonna be hidden. So it kind of worked out. So I, I won't end up needing it. Oh, this does not look super straight. <laughs> gonna use this as a little guide here. <laughs> okay, like that. <clears throat> I love this paper so much, I, I don't wanna waste any of it. <laughs> so I'm just being kind of careful to make sure that it's all good before I do the final cut. That was kind of off <laughs> when I did the tracing. Um, but luckily I noticed. <laughs> And then the same thing for here. Actually, I'm just gonna double check 
to make sure, no, that's not, what was I doing here? <laughs> oh, it's different, that's why. <laughs> we'll leave this part for now. I just wanna make sure the main um, sky is here. Okay, that's good. And then this looks like, no, it should be the same as this. Let me double check. Yeah, okay, so we'll use these as guides. <laughs> Pardon my miscalculation. Now you guys can see why math is always fun for me, <laughs> but I'm glad I know enough to <laughs> make sure before I cut it live. <laughs> Show me little hearts if you um, struggle with measuring as well. But these kits definitely help um, kind of take the fear out of measurements. So I'm just tracing down this one again. Perfect, so we have one blue. Let's check to make sure it's all good. Yes, perfect. And then let's see this one. Awesome, so it looks like we have all of our pieces. Oh, it goes here. So we've got all of our pieces cut out that we need right now. And then we're just going to decorate our little card front. But I actually, I think I wanted, I didn't do this. I wasn't thinking of doing this, but I think it would be fun to use some of the grass stencil on this um, part here. Cause the inner part of the stencil has these fun little um, grass in the middle. So I think that would be actually really fun. And I do love, I really, really do love with PhotoPlay, they have a really nice picture on the back of the packaging so that you have some inspiration to kind of get you um, started with some inspiration. So I think I just want this one here and then I'm just gonna grab my um, Distress Oxide Ink in Mode Lawn And let's hold it down a little with a little bit of washi tape. We're crafting on the fly here. <laughs> well, let's see if I saw, see any comments that I, okay. Um, Sherry says, good day from Saskatchewan, Canada. Hello, hello. Awesome. I love um, seeing where everybody, all the provinces people are from. I'm just in Mississauga. Ontario, just outside of uh, Toronto. Just so weird. I, I used to, like, I grew up in Toronto and I was there my whole life. And then we moved here. And then I still, like, it's still hard for me to say, oh, yeah, I'm in Mississauga. <laughs> I still, uh, in my heart, I'm still in Toronto. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of just do, like, a couple random little pieces here and then we'll do hmm, maybe one up here perfect so that's kind of what I was kind of looking for which is awesome and I'll clean that up in a second <clears throat> Oh, let's clean that up. Okay, so you start with the card base like this. And let's wipe this up. I, I ran out of wipes, which is not good. So I'm using this. <laughs> like that. Perfect. And then we have this guy here, which is going to be our grass. So we're just going to um, adhere this to the front with my tape runner. It's my favorite tape runner. It's so forgiving, but it's permanent once you stick it down. 
like that. And then we'll add our other green where's this stencil. <clears throat> Let's Okay, so I'm gonna glue it and then we're gonna finish off the ink blending. This is exciting. I, lo I love it when I, it's the thrill of crafting on the fly. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you guys are always in for an adventure when I decide to go off script. <laughs> see if anybody's, looks good, okay. If there's pauses, I'm just double checking to see if everyone's all, if, if everyone's following along or if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask them and I'll do my best to answer them. If not, I try to check um, once I'm done the live, I kind of check on comments to see if there's any questions and things like that. Okay. That, this is not perfectly sized, but that's okay. <laughs> I will just, Fix that in a second. Crafting on the fly. <laughs> Welcome to the adventure. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna glue this or tape it down. I'm gonna grab my brush again. Hands up if you guys craft on the fly too, and if you like it, or do you plan it out? Like, do you take a piece of copy paper and like make out little layouts and then kind of stick to it or it kind of is situational where sometimes something happens and then you kind of have to veer off course. Usually I have a vision, I have a kind of a picture in my head and then sometimes that just kind of goes out the window. So I'm just going to simply add some adhesive here. And then we're just gonna trim the sides after. So we're gonna add a little bit more grass, I think, cause I like to do, you know, kind of odd um, numbers, kind of looks a little bit better. So we'll trim this first because you know, I'm gonna put grass in the part where <laughs> we're gonna cut away. Cutting it as best as I can. There we go. So I think I wanna put a little piece down here. We might put a little birdie here. We shall see. Oh, maybe we'll do this grass because we have not done that one yet. Add it here. I'm loving how they're putting um, more and more companies um, are putting like stencil sh uh, shapes inside the stencil. It's really awesome value. So we're just gonna do one more somewhere, maybe like here. Make sure it's kind of straight. So we've got our little grass. Put this here and now we can work on our sky. So again, we're just gonna just double check to make sure. It's still working. You could probably do away with putting this one here if I had to do it again, just cause it's, you know, maybe we will take the bone folder and reinforce it a little bit. But I did love the continuous look, so let's see. It's bending more and more, perfect, okay. <clears throat> and then we can decorate our sky. So again, I'm just gonna put this here first. Tape runner. And then add it here. I 
and then we're going to kind of skip there because no one's really going to see it and we're just going to put one piece up here like that so that is our sky and here is our grass So the first thing we're gonna do, and then we're gonna add some adhesive to this piece here and to this piece here. So I'm gonna use some score tape for that. <coughs> Just double check. Yep. Add some score tape. I'm looking forward to the cooler, the cooler weather. It won't be so dry in here. <laughs> See if I have any comments. Oh, um, Melissa says hello. They're late, but just picked up Chinese food for lunch. Ooh, sounds yummy. We are creating with um, our brand new for the birds card kit that we just added to the shop today. So it's packed with. Um, the photo play for the birdie stamp set, um, the grass uh, stencil, a birdhouse die, um, the wiper card um, base pack, um, sequins, and uh, Lawn Fawn's uh, spiffy speckles paper. <clears throat> it's jam packed. <clears throat> okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Ugh. So I'm just going to remove um, the release papers. for this one. Okay. <laughs> then we're gonna consult with our instructions just to make sure that we're doing this correctly and it looks like we are, so awesome. <laughs> I always get like, uh, So then we're just, I'm just going to line it up on the lines to kind of help me because with this adhesive, it's kind of, you know, that's the one shot you have. Um, and then we're going to create our wiper mechanism. So that's the, how it should look at this step. And then the, the wiper mechanism is just going to go right in here. So let's cut that out. So I love it. It comes already um, there for you to cut out. Melissa says, how cute are the Lawn Fawn snakes? I was saying, um, I saw it on their blog this morning and I was waiting for them to share it on Instagram to reshare on our um, socials. But I saw the cat in the Halloween set and I think um, I'm in love. So <laughs> they did not disappoint. I cannot wait to see the whole release. But I think I did find my, um, <laughs> the annual Halloween set that I'm gonna get to create my son a card. Pretty sure we found it. It's got a cat, say no more. <laughs> So I'm just carefully fussy cutting around the trace line. And for me, in my case, it doesn't have to be like super perfect because you're not actually gonna see the wiper in because I'm gonna attach a branch to it. So it's gonna kind of stay hidden behind the scenes. And then you, it kind of has a little score line so you just always fold on the um, on the part where on the f um, inside of the score line words sometimes they're difficult so they are it's gonna kind of sit the way it kind of to think about it is it's just gonna actually sit perfectly here right on the edge of the line so in my head, I was thinking of like, oh my goodness, how does this mechanism work? It seems so complicated, but actually it really does line up 
really nicely. Um, maybe I should use some stronger <laughs> adhesive. Can tell I don't often reach for the score tape because it's one in one shot and you're done. <laughs> but we're good. We want the wiper to stay in place for as long as possible so the recipient can enjoy the interactive feature for a long, long time. So I'm just gonna remove the release paper and struggle with my nails. Okay, perfect. And then you just kind of place that here like that. So it's gonna go in the card like that and then you can kind of see how it's gonna work. So for my case, <clears throat> I'm going to get our other little pieces that we're gonna to use to decorate the card. We have our sentiment strip there that we're gonna use and some birdies that we're gonna color. Some of them are already colored and some of them I will show you how to color. <clears throat> And my idea was I actually want, when the, when the card opens, I want the branch to pop up because I don't want the wiper to be shown. So we'll start by coloring this. I'm gonna just grab my tri-blends. <clears throat> if you guys have um, any other color mediums that you wanna see, definitely let me know in the comments if you wanna see some Tombos or some um, other watercolor markers let me know. I happen to use the tri blends because I have all of them and I just love coloring with them because they come with all three colors that you need in one pen um, and they work really really well for blending and I love kind of stamping on um, with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on um, Ultra Smooth uh, Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock or the Nina works really well too. So I'm kind of set up to use alcohol markers. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your um, what your go-to is. So again, these are really small. You don't have to <laughs> reach for the three colors if you don't want to. I kind of I've just do it in autopilot sometimes, but you don't have to feel like you have to go that far with it. Um, and then I'm going to add some adhesive here. And then I'm just going to kind of place it there and then I'm going to test it out. Oh, did it, what happened to you? Oh, <clears throat> just double checking. It shouldn't come all the way up. Kind of want to hide as much of that part of the mechanism as we can. that. Perfect. And then we're going to put the little bird here. <laughs> we're going to make sure that it's hidden before it's opened. Add some adhesive. Oh. It's not going to work. <laughs> got to be like this, I think. So just kind of play around until you're happy with how it's coming, popping out. Let me double check my... Perfect. Okay, like that. And then we're going to put the birdhouse here. Um, and then for the birdhouse, I just die cut one out with um, the spiffy speckles in pink and then one out in just like a hard, um, um, a more strong white cardstock and I'm just gonna tape, um, adhere them together. <clears throat> and I love that the, the birdhouse comes with embossed details, which is so cute. And then you can actually even kind of hang them if you want, because they have little little spots where you can hang them with twine if you like. And then we're just gonna place that here. So kind of 
see how it's going to look. I'm going to make sure our little bird's hidden. It's just bothering me that it's showing more than I thought it would. <laughs> That's all. But awesome. <laughs> so cute. <clears throat> okay, so then we can adhere the, these parts together now. Like that. So I'm going to add some score tape here. I put it down in front of me somewhere and now it's going to be lost. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just use this for now. Oh, yeah, right when I, there it is. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <clears throat> always losing things right in front of me. <laughs> But I find sometimes if I just get up and come back, then it kind of pops out. So, so I'm going to remove these release papers. We're having double adhesive here. It's never a bad thing. Um, let's see. Ooh, there's a bunch of comments. Melissa said, I like to see Tombow watercolors, please, sometime. Awesome. Yes, I have those. Um, Sherry says, I like the tri-blends. Ooh, yay. I, they are like my hands down ultimate favorite. Um, markers um most says i do copics but only two blends sometimes i get or i get overwhelmed totally and t two blends for any alcohol coloring marker coloring is totally fine because you just kind of want you just kind of want the shading to be there but it doesn't have to be you know oh <clears throat> our little birdie fell apart here so let's fix it This actually might be better because we can see how it kind of fits in there and then pops out. So I'm just gonna so let's see it fits in there, pops out. <laughs> so cute. Then I'm just gonna so when I'm doing interactive cards, sometimes when I'm adhering things together, especially with my, my Tombow, I don't want to put too much pressure on it because I want to make sure it works. So that way I can like this, I can easily go in and I can fix it if I need to. And then once I'm done, then I will firmly <laughs> press down because I know everything is in order and in place. But I like to test it out along the way. straight tape there okay <clears throat> so now we're gonna just adhere this here like that it's kind of right there I just kind of want this to sit inside because I want it to sit nicely in an envelope and then we're gonna put this little birdie here <laughs> it's so cute Like that and then we're just gonna color in his little beak or her little beak and we'll add some blush <laughs> so cute this one reminds me of Tweety Tweety Bird and then some little freckles cuz why not And then sweet, this guy pops out and then we're gonna, I think, oh yes, we're gonna do a branch. I think I wanted to do a branch like coming out here, just kind of like that and then have him kind of there. And then we'll color him in so I can show you, although it's with the yellow, so with the yellow, it's really hard to see, you know, the difference in the color, but um, I'm just going to start with the darkest and kind of go around the edges. Kind of where I imagine it would be more shaded. And then if I'm not sure, I just kind of, no pun intended, wing it. <laughs> and then I take the medium color and then I just kind of blend out in circular motions like that. And then I just take the lightest color and do the same thing in circular motions just to help. 
so that it doesn't look like uneven or streaky. And you can kind of keep on building up on the color until you're happy. And then I often take the darkest color again and then just kind of add some highlights. So this is kind of my, probably I do this technique for every, most of the cards I make. But even when you color with watercolor markers, it's kind of the same, for me, I do the same thing where I start with the darkest or with the um, less watered down version and then um, I kind of water it down and then, or I just take my water brush and blend out so that it's lighter and lighter. So let's grab um, some blush again. See, my problem is I just, when I'm done, I just throw it somewhere. <laughs> it's like, no, I still need that. These birds are so cute. This little guy here. Oh. And then let's see, maybe we can actually even have this branch come off like that. That's actually really nice like that. And then we'll make sure the bird is supported by this column here. Oh, <laughs> see, this is when I got ahead of myself there. So that's, this is, I'm glad I could show you this because this is a reason why I love this adhesive because you could actually just rub away any parts that you don't need because I went a little bit too adhesive happy and we don't want this to stick to here. So I'm glad that um, I am able to fix that and that's one of the reasons why I love this particular adhesive. And when you don't want something, you can just simply rub it away and it's like it was never there to begin with. So we're gonna add this guy here. play around with it. So that's kind of our little scene. <laughs> it's so cute. And then we're just going to put our little sentiment here, I think. And then the sentiment I was going to use was, and I'll let you guys see them to see if you agree or if you want a different sentiment, that's totally fine too. I love when you guys help pick out what we do on the card. So um, I was gonna use the sentiment, um, I'll go on on a limb for you, just because literally that's what it is. So I thought that was so cute. Um, so for this one, you guys, I think I'm gonna pick the sentiment for this one because that one uh, I think is perfect. So I'm just going to take my sentiment strip and stamp it out. Because I don't think I just wanna stamp directly onto the paper, I don't, or the card front. Yeah, I think I definitely want like a banner or something. Okay, perfect. Let's see where my stamping block went to. Doo, doo, doo. This one will work. Sherry says, I love those cute birds, like Tweety birds, yes. Uh, Joan says, so cute, thank you. <laughs> These are adorable. And I colored them in, like I did yellow, I did blue and yellow, and then I did purple and yellow. Like there's so many different color variations that you could do for birds. I just thought the yellow went really well with our background here, so I wanted to kind of start there. That. And then we will grab our VersaFine. And then I'm just going to stamp carefully on the sentiment strip. And then we're just going to kind of place it, I'm thinking like here. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> Take two. I went a little bit too, had a little bit too much pressure. 
but this is this is awesome when it's not directly on the card front <laughs> and then if I ever did um, kind of stamp it on the card front and then it didn't work out then you can just simply put um, a sentiment strip over it and then no one would know so it's perfect so I'm just trimming it down and then I'll adhere it to the card front and then we'll add some sequins oh. I think I just want to put it like right here like that so cute um, and the sequins are where did they run off to <laughs> they were just here <laughs> Oh, here <laughs> there we are I cannot lose the sequins they are my favorite one of my favorite things so I'm just gonna kind of pour them out a little bit and then basically test around where I think that I want them to go And then we're just gonna glue them in place so let's see for me it's kind of just a feeling when it just feels like it's done <laughs> I think that's good there perfect okay so I'm gonna grab my glue and my embellishment wand and very carefully <laughs> apply our sequins love how this wand helps me with that most of the time <laughs> just carefully adding it perfect okay and then i want to just fix here something there So that's our card using the wiper card front. So much fun. So cute. And then I can't believe um, how time flew. So we have 10 more minutes. So I'm going to show you our my second card that I created with the kit and then we will quickly assemble a third one. Um, but I won't recreate this one from start to finish but I will show it to you. So here's another um, A2 size card that I created with the kit components. We have our bird houses, and then I use the grass stencil again on the bottom. And then the cloud stencil was just for my stash. And again, I'll see how you can have different color combos for the birds. So we did um, purple and yellow and turquoise and yellow. So that's cute. And our little you are so sweet sentiment in the center. And of course our sequins um, all over the card, which is fun. And then my third idea, was to just take one of the um, pattern paper backgrounds and then add um, a whole bunch of branches and some birds. So we will quickly assemble that together. So I will take my um, A2 stitched rectangle and run this through my die cutting machine. <clears throat> Sherry says, I really like that tweet card. Love the different colored birds. Yes, I thought I would have some fun with them. Um, different color combinations. So, so cute. So how you can kind of play with the yellow and the blue. So I'm just going to run this through my Gemini. Don't mind the noise for a second. <laughs> Oops, put 
this somewhere safe. I want to save every last bit of the spiffy speckles paper. If you guys see my cards um, on um, Instagram, on my Instagram or blog, you guys know I basically use the stitched rectangle for every single card, partly because I can't cut straight and partly because I love the finished um, stitched look that you get. So it's definitely an awesome investment. Um, I use it again, <laughs> something I use every single day. So we're going to just um, adhere these together again because I couldn't not use the birdhouse in all the cards we created today because it is so cute um, and it would be really good for you know other um, like little ins like if you had like little bees or like little insect kind of stamp sets it would really look cute with that with a little bird in it and then you can add on a whole little spring scene when that when spring rolls around again but I just love the little birds for it's kind of so cute for going into fall so we're going to, so I think we're going to have the birdhouse kind of hang on this one here like that. And then the little bird's going to be here. And then we're going to kind of have this guy here like that. And then I think I want this guy here like this. So it's kind of the general and have that one there. And then we're just going to stamp a sentiment. Kind of right underneath a little birdie told me it's your birthday so let's quickly color these guys in i do love that the images are small so you can kind of stamp a bunch out on some paper and you're pretty much good to go for a while because it's very easy to kind of mass produce so for this you'll notice i'm actually starting with the lightest color um, and then i'm going to go in with the darkest color and then blend out with the medium. So it kind of works out if it's really small, really, really tiny um, images. Just basically want to add the color here. Then, and this is another way that you can kind of experiment with the tri blends if um, you're just starting out. So this is the official way they say to color is to saturate the whole um, image with the lightest color and then go in with the darkest color and then blend it all together using the medium tone. But you'll see as you color, kind of find your, or even crafting in general, you kind of find the way that works for you. So there's really no right or wrong kind of way. There's a good starting point way and then you can kind of go from there. And then blend out with the medium. So show little hearts or little thumbs if you like. Um, have you guys started Halloween cards and Christmas cards or holiday cards? I think a switch, a little switch went off and I just want all fall, all Christmas, all holiday. <laughs> Which is very strange for me because I used to like start my Christmas cards in December. But now I feel like in December we're going to be making... Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> Perfect. So we got our little branches there and then we're going to color in this little bird purple and yellow so I can show you how I did that process. So again I took the darkest, well actually for this I, I didn't want it to be too dark so in this case the darkest one will be the medium tone and then I'm just going to go around the edges and then we're, the little belly is going to be yellow. Let's see if any comments come up. Um, Jan says, right now I'm building class kits for Crop and Create. Ooh, you're so good, Jan. I got mine um, yesterday or the day. Yes, Yeah, yesterday. I'm like, but it's a day anymore. Um, so I haven't even really looked in it yet. So I'm excited to, to take a closer look and organize. Um, and Sherry says, in my mind, I started Christmas cards. Um, 
now just to get time to create some. Ah, yes. <laughs> time, the ever elusive. Um... I'm proud of myself because of Christmas in July, I've got, I've got a good little stash of Christmas cards happening. So I'm just going to go in and kind of just kind of mark off where the little belly is going to be and then just blend out the rest of the image. <clears throat> It's a weird time. It feel like time is flying, but it's also really slow. So a good way <laughs> to cheer to cheer myself up is to make fun festive cards and some fall cards. These birds are so cute. And then we're going to add in some yellow. I don't know if there are actually birds with yellow bellies and purple purple feathers, but in my world, they exist. In my happy um, photo play lawn fawn heffy doodle world. Perfect. can't decide which one which color combo I like more what do you guys think do you like the purple or the turquoise okay so it's our general layout here and then this is gonna go here and then I think that's gonna go up there so now all that's left is just adhering it down and I'm gonna add 3d foam tape to these two birds I believe it's always kind of a last minute decision that I make, like which ones are gonna be in the forefront and which ones are gonna be in the foreground. Also, I've, get, I've gotten into um, the routine to kind of lay it out the way I want and then I'll snap a picture on my phone and then that way, if in the process of moving things around, actually, I think I kind of wanna pop this up too. Yeah, we'll pop some, we'll pop this up too. See what I mean? I kind of decide on the fly what I'm gonna pop up. But I do love foam tape. I think it's one of those things that is an inexpensive way to kind of elevate your card to a sort of polished next in, in bunny ears level. I think it makes it special and it, it makes it, um, it looks handmade that way. So I love it. So then we're not going to pop this one up. So together it'll be like that. And then we're going to just glue, adhere this down. Like that. And then add some folk tape to here. And again to here and here. I just love it, the little feet of the little birds. They are so adorable. I'm just gonna kind of hang this guy like right here. Perfect. And then we'll just trim off the edges. that <laughs> oh, that's fine I'm hanging off I was like what is that hanging off the edge so that is there and then we will add our sentiment but I think I'm gonna do it with the misty very carefully very carefully very very carefully because we already popped you would think I would learn this by now but it's better if you um, Put the sentiment before you pop anything up but we are living on the edge here so 
Um, so then I'm going to put a little birdie told me it's your birthday is the sentiment. So just kind of carefully kind of place it here just because I'm worried if I try to stamp it. It's not going to go. I think I've tempted the crafty gods enough today. So I grabbed my Misty and I cleaned off, I cleaned it off before the live. Sometimes ink it gets up here and you stamp it, it will contaminate the top, but I cleaned it off. So I'm confident that it'll be okay. And yay, it worked. <laughs> Sometimes I have to know when to be like, okay, we're just gonna leave it to the Misty. We're not gonna try to be a hero. <laughs> And then we're going to add some sentiments. I mean, not sentiments, sequins. Again, just the different colors and sizes. I love the mix that this is all, all mixed up for you. And then I kind of just want it to kind of be like kind of flowing from the top to the bottom. To my eye, it just seems right. I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm sure if you add sequins to your card, you probably have a flow that you prefer because <clears throat> it's so much fun and it adds a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of glam. Okay, my hands are all sticky from glue. So that looks good to me. And then again, we will adhere these in place. Sherry says, I like them both so cute. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, they are cute. And they kind of work in different ways. <clears throat> but if I were to redo this card, I probably would have colored because I didn't want the bird to kind of get lost in the background, but I just loved how it blended well together. And I loved how he was perfectly positioned to sit on the birdhouse so it just kind of worked out that way so I like to do like when I get a new stamp set I basically stamp everything out on like a sheet of paper and then I color them all and then I'll just set them aside for when I'm ready to um, create a card so sometimes the ink blend sometimes the colors are purposeful like matching a specific card like background sometimes I've just experimented with different colors and then the card background comes afterwards so it just depends so here are some three cards um, for inspiration for our brand new for the birds card kit so cute and I do I am a love I'm in love with this Biffy speckles paper so it kind of I'll go on a limb for you <laughs> so cute and then we have this one here and this one here and then you got birthday covered you know, thinking of you and encouragement. So it's so perfect. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Um, Sherry says, those cards are so sweet. Thank you for showing us. Oh, you're so very welcome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, definitely, if you want to see more content or you don't want to miss any content, be sure to sign up for our newsletter because everyone on our newsletter were the first to know about our Lawn Fawn flash sale today. So we're creating some space um, for the new Lawn Fawn goodies. So for today, for the next 24 hours, um, you can save 20% off Lawn Fawn goodies um, and the code is Lawn Fawn 20. So if you are eyeing older things, now is a great time to pick that up. Um, if you like the video, be sure to hit the little thumbs up. It kind of lets Facebook know that you like this content and it'll show you more. Um, and follow us on YouTube and Instagram. And you can follow me on Instagram too if you like. I'm just at jess.mcafee on Instagram. Um, been quiet the last couple weeks getting my son all ready for school but now with that all out of the way I think I'll have more time to have some more day-to-day -day crafty adventures um, and hopefully we can do some more lives on maybe the scrap and stamp Instagram so I'm so excited to see to kind of hang out with everyone and I'm so so glad you guys are here so thank you so much um, this kit is in our new arrival section so if you wanted to take a peek it's over there and I believe I put a link at the fr um, the top of our comments um, so thank you thank you thank you guys I so appreciate it oh thanks Jen thank you um, awesome so I hope everyone has a great rest of the week and I will see you guys on Sunday bye now <laughs>